What the silkworms know. Mulberry leaves are the only food silkworms would eat, and they eat lots of them, day and night, growing by minutes, till they make cocoons of silk and start the next cycle of metamorphosis. Since 5000 BC, Chinese have been raising silkworms to produce silk and spread the wonder of this protein fabric across the world through Silk Road. China built its civilization on silk culture and agriculture. Silk and rice keep this civilization long and beautiful. It's not an exaggeration that the Middle Kingdom, Zhongguo, was built upon a thread of silk, a leaf of mulberry. So, what makes the silkworms grow so fast and fat, produce the best protein silk in such large quantity, allow them to complete their metamorphosis in such a short period, and ensure their gene survival? Long and far, keep Chinese civilization safe through wars and climate changes. The secret lies in mulberry trees. Originated in South Asia, Asia, mulberry spreads and thrives throughout the globe. They they have male and female trees. Male produces so much pollen into the air. So that female flowers guzzle them up to make berries, white, pink, red, purple, black, in abundance. The berries are juicy, rich with vitamin C, D, and B, potassium, iron, and other properties. Birds eat them, poop the seeds somewhere else, and next year, young mulberry trees pop up. And settle quickly into new grounds. Some countries, like Brazil, regard it as invasive species because they take over the woods and forest so fast and vast through birds. Chinese love mulberries, not only because of the silkworm and its silk culture. But also because they know the secret of mulberry, like worms and birds. Its leaves are about twenty percent protein, rich in vitamin B, C, D. Asians have been using it for tea to treat cold, flu, cough, phlegm, pneumonia, blurry eyes, high blood pressure, diabetes, cancer. <coughs> They improve vitality, keep hair black and lush, face elastic and moist, eyes bright. They are the foods for longevity. They know what the silkworms and other animals know. Its berries are so nutritious and tasty, but who would know that they are rich with vitamins, minerals, and other goodies? They tonify liver and kidney, quench thirst for diabetes. Tinnitus, blurry eyes, insomnia, fatigue, dizzy. They are also food for love. Chinese know what the birds know, and its bark. In Chinese medicine, it's called shang bai pi, white skin of mulberry. It is used for asthma, cough, shortness of breath, bloating. Puffy skin and diarrhea, and don't forget its roots. They can be used for pain in eyes, body aches, toothaches caused by inflammation. Like all life in nature, especially plants, what's considered as weeds or weed trees, invasive, stubborn, annoying in the eyes of humans and hands of industry, reveal the other side of truth: tenacity. Vitality, adaptation—all the things we need to survive and thrive to pass our genes. So eat as many mulberries as you can, and love them as much as you can. 
Let them moisten your lungs, strengthen your kidneys, beautify your face, lighten your heart. Collect their leaves and make tea with them to clear the fire in your nose and lungs and heart. Collect the barks and roots for winter aches and colds and flus. Say thank you and let them help you breathe, sleep and move better. Let them keep your hair thick and black and lush, your joints moist, mind sharp, and heart warm. May you know what silkworms and birds know. May you live as long as vital as a mulberry tree.